We are really lucky to be collaborating with Tina Reynolds from Ovation Academy and Bravo Performing Arts. Uh, they are the ones who premiered 57th National Mathlete, the large cast version, back when it was Numbers Nerds two summers ago. And she uh, will premiere our show, Girlhood the Musical, in July of 2019. And we're so excited to have her at the helm to, to guide this process along the way and direct uh, the first production. So today, today we are doing four different numbers and the students are, we have 25 kids here today and we are learning the music for four numbers. We will have some very basic staging of the numbers and then at the end of the day we'll all get together and we will see what the numbers are. And today what we're hoping to learn is are the numbers in the right key? Are they too long? Is it not long enough? Does it really tell the story we want to tell? And we want to clean up this so that when Tina Reynolds goes into rehearsal in June, all the numbers are in good shape for her to go. Girls of the Musical is a brand new musical, an original musical created from 16 different composing teams. Uh, the characters were created by me and the story behind each of the songs was created by me based on interviews that I did with a whole bunch of teenage girls. Uh, also some teenage boys in there as well. Uh, what I found so interesting as I was uh, creating this show, uh, as I was learning from these interviews, is that girls uh, are so complex, they're so interesting, they're so exciting, and they, I learned so many different things that I didn't know about. And what we try to do is we try to capture some of the journey of young girls uh, evolving into women. It's not about the kind of woman you are, it's about the kind of woman you will become. story of girls who are nerdy girls, they're mean girls, there's girls in sports, there are girls that are a little different than the other girls, there's average girls. Uh, it's the story of a whole bunch of different types of girls and the journeys they go on. We are letting boys in the show and I'm gonna tell you why. We're letting a handful of boys in the show for two reasons. Number one, you know, Boys are a part of the girls' lives. As if anyone would want to spend time dancing with these gross boys. Can you believe that some people actually willingly date them? Not me. I'd rather have a flip phone than ever be a boyfriend girl. Are you delusional? Having a boyfriend is the greatest. Uh, in addition, um, what we discovered is, is that uh, as teachers decide what shows to do, uh, if they have a bunch of girls, but they also have one or two boys, they don't want to exclude them. So we're having a show that most teachers can do because it has a mostly female cast with a handful of boys in the show. And the boys get their own number. We decided to do girlhood because uh, for every boy that auditions, there are 25 girls who audition. There are far more females, uh, students, involved in the theater than there are males, and yet there are almost no shows available to them. So we wanted to do a, a, a show with a large female cast and a large female leading cast. Uh, the boys, there are a handful of boys in the show, they do not have leading roles in the show. All the leading roles are females. We watch the journey of four young girls as they start from middle school into high school. But the way we're developing the show is we're developing it so that middle schools can do it and high schools can do it. Real friends. 